Hello YouTubers, in today's tutorial we're going to see how to install a local server with a management content system such as WordPress, Drupal, Joomla and um, it is going to be a really quick installation and um, for those of you who don't really know what Turnkey is, it's an awesome system where you download a small size web server with a content management system like these ones that you see right over here and um, you can install it locally and if you're updating or building a website you can build it locally and then once it's done you can put it online in my case I just um, install it because I run some security testing against it using Kali and um, so this is the only reason why I do it so go to turnkeylinux.org on page 4 that's where WordPress is located depends on the day you see this tutorial it could be on a, a different page but just um, look it up and you'll find it so you hit WordPress and you go ahead and download the ISO file which is located right over here just cancel and here you go you save it to your favorite location I save it right over here Winboot system and instead of saving it I already have it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel and get going so for this tutorial I will be doing it on a virtual box so I choose new and then WD press or maybe word press give a name to my virtual machine uh, automatically give me Linux so I'll just go ahead with that um, for the RAM I'll use one gig because I don't really need that much Create virtual hard drive now. Next, continue. It's dynamic allocated, and here it's giving you 12 gigs by default. You don't really need that much. All you need is about a gig or two. Um, you only need actually a gig, but I'm going to choose two gigs. And then create, and you go to settings. First thing you do, you go to network. Use bridge adapter. So you, the, the only reason we're using bridge adapter. So your virtual machine will have its own unique IP address. If you do NAT, your virtual machine and your host machine, which is my Mac in this case, we both will have the same IP address, and we don't need that. So you do bridged, and um, if you want to change the Mac address, but that's really not important at the moment. You do um, you go to system. Actually, you go to storage, and here on you select empty. You got this CD right over here. Choose, and then you browse to your location where you saved the turnkey Linux, and then it's right over here. Open. Okay, and then we hit start. So here, you have two options to try it without installing. But actually, we want to install it. You go ahead and hit install. Here we're gonna use um, use the entire disk and right change to disk. Yes. Now it's copying data. As you can see, the progress bar is going so fast, and files are being copied very fast. Install. Yes. This is sort of like the grub is for self-booting. Now it's a restart. You're not going to see any GUI or anything. All you will see is a black screen with a bunch of IP addresses. And this is how this type of server works. So we use Debian Linux. You will be prompted to enter a password for the root, which is the your, your server, and we'll just type in a password right now. Confirm the password. Now you have a MySQL 
root account in case if you want to update your database or add tables or create a new database so what you have to do is um, use this account for for that purpose and we type in our password now again you confirmation hit enter now for your WordPress administrator this is where you really log into your WordPress and make changes do updates install tools and articles publish articles and a bunch of that so I'll go ahead and enter that and here you choose your email address so in this example I will choose mine email address you guys can email me at it anytime and um, hit apply And, and here you just do you can skip it at the moment and just skip this we don't need it there we go this is all you will get for sorry we hit quit this is all you will see and um, what you need to do right now is to go to your web browser and type in this IP address which is 192.168.1.18 and here you go this is your WordPress you can make articles if you want to log in now this is where you need admin and then the password you chose for your installation well, uh, during the installation and there you go this is your management GUI and as you can see here there is a bunch of updates plugins need to be updated about eight plugins if uh, you um, you're familiar with this window though I don't need to go over it now if you wanna um, do the um, log into the web server your web server and make changes and do a bunch of cool stuff this is what you have to do is 192 and then your port is one two three two one. Oh, you have to use HTTPS right over here HTTP because it's secure login and you will be prompted with this exception add it just confirm so next time you won't be prompted. There you go. And the password or the username here was root. And then your password that you have chosen. Login. There you go. Now you have a bunch of tools that you can play around with your um, server. I don't really play around with it that much. All I do is a bunch of security testings against it. And... Um, against the WordPress software as well so um, if you have any question regarding this simple steps please don't hesitate to comment shoot an email and I'll be more than happy to get back to you in the next video by the way I will show you how you can update because actually there is an error message or you will be blocked or prevented from updating your WordPress but all you have to do is watch the next video and I will show you how to do that thank you for watching again subscribe leave a comment and um, thanks for sharing